What's up everyone, really lovely to see you all here today. My name is Lawa and in today's video I'll be showing you how to deploy your SvelteKit applications to Cloudflare pages. The first thing I want you to do is to go to the Cloudflare pages documentation, go to the framework guides and search for SvelteKit. Now they did us dirty by putting SvelteKit at the bottom, right, right at the end, but it's right there, you just go there and you should see a complete guide on how to deploy um spelled kit now i can actually leave, leave you guys here and you can go ahead and deploy this application by yourself because it's pretty detailed but spelled kits and cloud dinner and cloud play i mean <laughs> and it's not it's not a smooth combination when it comes to deploying the application i faced some couple of things that took me some time to resolve so i'm going to be showing you how i did that so i'm just doing this normally and every time i face any issue i'll show you straight up that this is the issue and then I will also teach you how to overcome those issues. So if you are facing any issue deploying your applications to Cloudflare pages, then this video is definitely for you. So let's begin by using the C3 command, the CLI, to create our applications. Now you can see right here we have a command right here: npm create Cloudflare as latest. Then the name of your app, my spelled app, and then the framework. Now the first issue here is that this framework persist prefix. What would they call this? Doesn't actually work. This framework lag doesn't work so if you put um framework because of spell kit it still asks you to choose your framework or whatever so yeah we'll, we'll just copy this and i'll also show you the issue and then yeah we'll move on from that now i'm in my editor and in my terminal and i'm just going to change this npm to pnpm and i will paste the command as is and i'll run the first prompt is what type of application do you want to create and we're going to look for Websites or web app. So choose the website or web app. And after that, they're telling us which development framework do you want to use. Even though we use the um Svelte framework flag. So if anybody is from Cloudflare here watching this video, this is a little blog you guys have to check. But we're gonna have to choose our um framework, which is Svelte. And then they continue with blah 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 and just let it do its thing very quick. If you're the PMP, it should take like a second. And then we have the normal spelled kits flow. Then the piece of app you want to create, we'll go with a skeleton project. And then TypeScript, of course. I'll go with ESLint and Prettier. And then I'm trying Svelte 5. And it's going to install the dependencies. You just wait for it. Now, just on the side, if you already have a spelled kit application that you want to deploy to Cloudflare, it's going to work. If you do deploy it, it's going to work. Or well, one thing you might want to do is just change the adapter. So you change the adapter from adapter auto to adapter Cloudflare so that you can add Cloudflare specific options to your application. Now it's asking us, do you want to use Git for version control? Yes, of course. And initialize the Git repo. Now it's asking us, do you want to deploy your application? Of course we want to deploy, but we won't actually be deploying it through this manner because when we deploy it through this manner, it's going to be a one-time deploy, meaning that when we update our applications later in the future, it's not going to have this continuous integration kind of deployment that we get when we're using Vercel. So I'm going to say no. And what we want to do is to deploy this directly from the dashboard. When we do that, we can connect our Git repository to Cloudflare pages. And every time we push to the um, repo, it would automatically build the project for us. So if we push to the main branch, it will build the production repo. And if we push to the staging or any other branch, it's going to build the preview and generate a link for us. So first of all, what I want to do is verify that this application is working. So I'm going to spin up the dev server, check it out, check that everything is correct. And then I will deploy it to GitHub. And after deploying to GitHub, we'll go to our Cloudflare dashboard and we'll deploy from there. I've spinned up my dev server. So I'm just going to check my browser. And yeah, we have welcome to Svelte Kit, visit, blah, blah, blah. This is what I want. So now that I've verified that it's working, I'm just going to deploy it to GitHub. Now, um, you don't really have to be using the CLI when you think it's up nowadays because of editors like VS Code come with Git integrated. One thing we can do is come here directly. And since this repo or application has been initialized with Git, you can just click on publish branch, and choose my spells app, publish to GitHub private, public to GitHub public. I'm going for the public and it's going to publish this for us as easy as that. Now that it has successfully published that to our repo, we can go to the Cloudflare dashboard now. So I'll just go to Cloudflare. 
and I'll go to login. If you don't have a Cloudflare account, you should go to sign up and sign up. I already have a Cloudflare account, so I'm clicking on login. So this is my Cloudflare dashboard. Where I want to go to is on the sidebar, scroll down, you'll see workers and pages. Let's open that up. Click on the workers and pages. That will be better. And here you see an overview and all the apps that I've deployed in the past. Now we have all the apps that I've deployed. What I can do here is click on create. If you don't have any application deployed here, you will probably just have a big create button here, but I'll click on create. And now we have create an application. By default, it's going to be on workers. It, you switch the tab to pages and connect to gates. You also have another one called create using direct upload. You don't want that. You want to connect to gates. So I'll connect to gates. And the first step is for me to select a repository. And I'll select this one we just added, my spelt app. And I'll begin setup. And then the production branch is main, of course. The framework preset one is changes to felt, felt kits, and then npm run build is okay. And the build output directory is also okay as well. Just leave everything as is. The only thing you want to change is the framework preset to felt kits and save and deploy. Now, one thing about felt kits, well, the ones that I have noticed since I started using felt kit is there. You need a certain version of Node and IR to use um, Cloudflare workers or to deploy to your application to Cloudflare pages. I mean, so the way you can do that with Cloudflare is to actually edit your environmental variables. And Cloudflare by default uses, I think, pre Node 16 or something like that. And a certain package in SpellKit requires you to be using node 17 and upward or something. I'm not sure, but you are definitely going to get that issue. If you just try and deploy um, automatically like that, there'll be an issue and you, there's no way to fix it because they don't tell you how to fix it. So you have to research and research and research, but I have you covered. I've done all that research for you. So this is supposed to be how this fix this issue, but it doesn't because of what you're supposed to do here is to put a particular variable name. Now this variable name called node version is a specific type of variable name that Cloudflare allows you put in for it to be able to specify a node version for it to use. So now it's as a default, but you can also specify a certain node version you want Cloudflare pages to use. And what I'm going to specify is 20.10.0 because of that is the version I'm using currently. I'm going to upgrade very soon to 21 or 22, but this is what I'm using currently. But you would think at least we'll fix it, but let's check this out. We'll save and deploy and let's see the way it works out. Now it's on the third part where it's going to deploy our site and it's building the application and all that. And as you can see, there was a failure. It says we tried develop, we tried deployment and those, you can see field build command existed with code one, blah, blah, blah. And you can see right here, the error, which is your node version is incompatible with blah, blah, blah. It's an ESLint error actually. An expected version is 18, or you got 18.17.1. The expected version is 18.18. .18. So very, very close. But if you don't have that 18 by 18, it won't work. But we actually fixed that issue by changing our node version in the environmental variables. But that one doesn't actually stick. You get me? That one actually doesn't actually work. So for some reason, setting your AMBs from that part doesn't actually work. So again, if there's anybody on the cloud team watching this, or anybody that knows money on the cloud team watching this, please let them check this out it might be a little bug from your side what we are going to want to do is just continue right just continue because if you go to change settings it doesn't actually do anything just click on continue but before we click on continue let's go back to change settings and see something right here we see that this is still here and the main reason why this isn't showing is because of this is not encrypted normally when you want to use cloudflare pages for your variables to work you need to encrypt them so that they are not visible I'll show you how to do that later on, but there's no way to do that here. And I think that's the issue. Now I'm just talking. I don't work at Cloudflare. So yeah, I just think that would be the issue, but let's just continue to the project. It failed. Yes, but we just have to continue to the project and continue with out the successful deployment. Yes. And now that you are here, the, the, the build field, no pro problem there, no issue there. What you are going to want to do is go to your settings 
when you are in your settings you'll see your node version there but the issue now is that it actually shows the value and if the value is showing it would not work you're going to have to do is edit that variable and now you see this encrypt encrypt button right here you click on this encrypt button and it says this value will no longer be available once in and that's actually the fix for it once you encrypt the, the value the env variable starts to work so now i can save this and i can also encrypt for the um preview branch or preview deploys or environment as well i will encrypt this as well and save now this is actually a very quick fix but it can actually take you a long time if this is your first time it's using cloudflare pages and it can also be a turn off as well so again anybody knows the guys at cloudflare and cloudflare pages let them handle this as quick as possible now that we've done that what we're going to do is just go back to our application and we deploy this one more time and let's see if this will work so what i'll do is i'll go to the page and i'll just have a little change here i'll say fix cloud flare issue and i'll make this an issue one actually okay stop <laughs> i don't have to use html anymore all right so pop this yeah save this what you want to do is go back to your source control save those changes and i will just use copilot to generate a commit message for me and i'll commit and i will also sync changes so once all of that is done it will rebuild the deployment and this time it should work so let's go back to our deployment here you see that we have to now we have the third one in progress so what you want to do is just wait for it and let's see the way it goes i'm crossing my fingers that it works because i'm not sure if it would but let's see the way it goes so as you guys can see it successfully deployed the last deployment and you should have the url that you can play around with you can click on this and you can send it to people which actually works and it should actually work for you as well if you did not get exactly the output that i got just go back in the video rewatch it and look for the place that you messed up but if you click on this link we should see um fixed cloudflare issue and that's also what you should be guessing as well if you texted this exact thing and yeah that's basically it that's the fix now we can actually push staging branches and different types of preview branches now this is the production branch every time we push to the main we are going to be pushing to the production branch so i'm just going to show you guys how to create staging branches so i can easily just create a new branch with the source control here come here the branch and we have create branch and call this staging and the branch will be created from the main branch and i can publish that branch by clicking on the publish button and when i publish that branch cloudflare page will pick that up on a new build and since it's not the main branch it's going to be a preview branch so every other branch except from the main branch would always be a preview branch they'll be run in the preview environment and now as you can see staging right here and the badge says preview and once this is successful you will have a link to show people and that will be a preview of the site and we can also get custom domains yeah so with cloudflare it's also a domain domain registrar where you can um, get domains from so cloudflare is really the whole package and you can set up custom domains and all that stuff i can click here and i can select a domain now i have multiple domains i am not going to be using any domain here but i can just show you examples so you can go with https and if you actually own the domain it would allow you and but i don't actually own this domain and you can do basically example.com as you can see this is one example right here i don't need to type the whole thing out you can put this here and you can continue and if it's your domain it will work for you and you can also register domains so if you want to register a domain you can come right here and you can register a particular domain you can transfer a domain so if you have a domain somewhere else you can transfer it to cloudflare and yeah so that is basically the tutorial this tutorial teaches you how to deploy your application your spark application to be specific to cloudflare pages if you love this video let me know if you had any issue state it down in the comment section i would make sure i help you out I love you guys. Stay clean, stay clear. I'll see you in the next video.